Good morning and win forever and ever, people of grace. This is the day that our Lord has made. We shall be rejoicing on it. Many didn't win witness this day. But our Father, the Lord of the Lord, Trinity of heaven, the Father that care, the sovereign Lord, our fortress, our fortress, has made us to see this day. So we shall be rejoicing on it. He is the Messiah. He is the coming Messiah. He loves us dearly. He's not human. He cannot pretend. He is our Lord. Our fortress, our refuge, our everything protector, our redeemer, our sustainer. You are welcome. I know that people of grace, you have done the confession of your sins. You have spoken with your daddy. From morning, you have told him what you are seeking. He listened. He might, he might take time. But at the end, he will answer. Prophet, Sina Prophet Yeshua used to say, there's no problem that will last until you die. There's no tunnel that will never show light when you walk inside. Eventually, eventually, eventually while you are walking inside, at the end, there will be a big light. You will come out of the tunnel. No cage that will meant for you, that it will cage you for the whole life. Unless a person want to be caged. Because when you pray and you fast, Father God will answer you. You are welcome, beloved people of God, beloved children of God, that love your hearts, that love all your sacrifices. God bless you this morning. Let's welcome Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. Come and fill where they are. Holy Spirit, direct them. You are the spirit that never fails. You are spirit that fight for us, protect for us, and guide us. When we lose the path, you redirect our path. We invite you. Trinity of heaven, good morning, our fathers, our Lord, the God that created heaven and earth. Our Father Jesus, Holy Spirit, our Father, our protector. We love you, our Father, and the team for praying and interceding for us. Here are your children. They have weep and cry. Father, I know you shall never disappoint them because you listen. Father, as we start this meeting, have mercy on us. Father, while we pray and declare, Open the doors that are so stubborn to open and release what belongs to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we love you, Holy Spirit. We adore you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy One. We thank you, the one that given us life. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you. You gave us life. You sacrificed for us. We shall never forget that. Your blood sanctified us. You change our lives to the way we are today. Today we carry light because of your salvation. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, our Jesus. We honor you, the King of the Kings. We honor you, Messiah. Come and take control. Come and lead us. We love you and touch us, O Holy One. Your hands let we feel us upon us and our families. In Jesus' mighty name. You are welcome. Here we are. The book of Proverbs 10. I know you have read already Psalm 1. The book of Proverbs 10 will prove text. Proverbs 10 will prove text. This is, um, let me check it. Yes. Proverbs 10, I'm right. Verse 3, we are prophetizing. Psalm 10, sorry. 
We are proceeding Proverbs 10. We will be reading verse 3. Same verse 10. Verse 21. Verse 23. And verse 32. Proverbs 10. The word Proverbs 10 will be proof texting. We'll be reading, we'll be reading verse 3 of Proverbs 10. Then we move to verse um, 21, 22, and 23. And the last one is verse 32. I'll go again, I'll read it again. I'll say it again, I'll repeat it. Proverbs 10, we proof text. Proverbs 10, verse 3. Same Proverbs 10, you, you, you proof text, you go to verse 21, 22, and 23. Then you proof text again, you go to the last verse 32. It reads like this, Proverbs 10, verse 3. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he toward the cravings of the wicked. Toward, how can I say, prevent. Hmm. Verse 3 of Proverbs 10. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, me and you, but he toward the cravings of the wicked. And someone can ask people of grace why they say the Lord does not uh, let the righteous go hungry. Because I was hungry, uh, and then I went hungry and I, it's because you didn't ask Father prior. Ask Father prior. When you know that today I don't have food or you realize yesterday that tomorrow we don't have money to buy food, start to call him. Start to call your Father. He listen. Father, you are the provider. We don't have food tomorrow. We don't have food. We don't know what to eat, men, my children. Father, you are the provider, fit us. Definitely, definitely, I repeat it. Someone will call you, someone will give you food, or someone will give you money to buy food. A destiny help will be sent to you, but if you believe. So we must learn that if we don't have something, we don't say, I'll sit down and crown and mourn, and mourn and weep and do all sorts of things. Start to call who created you. So that we are building, Father God wants you to build, not that he doesn't know, he knows he wants you to build a trust and faith and hope to him, unto him, only him, because it's not of the world, because he lives in you. He wants you to ask, and when you ask, he will never give you the opposite. Hence the Bible said, when a child asks for a fish, he will never be given a rock. So it, Father God is teaching us to be, live like children. To depend on him in everything. A child depends on the parents. Every small thing. Whether the child, even my son is still 21. But before he, he do something. Ma, you know I wanted to do this. Ma, you think this is right or wrong. So he want us to live like children. That's why children will never miss heaven. Because they depend everything on their mother. Whether you give a child a poison, the child will eat. So we must learn to speak with our daddies, Holy Spirit and the Father, prior not to wait. In every situation, when you know that in the coming 10 days, I'll be suffering according to my budget or whatever, start to call him, I have a challenge. He wants us to trust him that he is everything. We cannot move, we cannot sit, we can do whatever, we cannot do, that's why when I pray, I say, Father, thank you, today we are still moving, we are walking freely, we are eating, we are able to drive, because if you want, it can happen in the blink of an eye, look how many people are sitting on wheelchairs, there are people that are staying in hospital permanently, 
where they balance their prey, hoping that we, if we balance, one day they will wake up. Father God, love me and you, people of grace. Let's depend on him in everything. A Shunammite woman. When they pass say, is your child okay? It's your husband. And then he keep on blessing the name of the Lord. He never say, my son died or what. He keep on saying it. God is there because of the faith. That's why he said, the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he taught the craving of the wicked. He prevent the craving. What is the craving of the wicked? To kill, to steal and destroy like their father, to torture the children of God, to steal all their blessings, to curse them every day, to press them when they're sleeping, to send the strong men and demons to torture the children of God. It shall never work in Jesus' mighty name because you believe and you trust and you have hope in your father. Verse 21. While we still proof takes in. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for the lack of sense. Why the lips of the righteous nourish many? While the fool die for the lack of sense. Because the lip of the righteous, they don't speak for themselves. We speak with power. We speak with what our Father is telling us that we must cough it out. The lips of the righteous, you and me, when we speak, we speak with confidence because there's someone, someone inside you that is coughing up the weight. That someone is our Father. That someone is connected to Jesus, our Papa and our God. That someone is a third person, an advocate. Yes, you are an advocate. In other words, you when you go back to the book of Matthew, he said when they torture you, when they arrest you and bring you in the courts, because you are my disciples, this is what you must expect when I'm gone to my father. You will never speak. You will speak when you are in the courts. Those ways that you'll be speaking. It is my papa that you're speaking. Meaning me and you, we carry the anointing and the, the advocateship inside us. Because our father said what? I'll send an advocate to guide you, to protect you. Who is our father? Who is living inside your heart? In the other words, because he said, whenever they accuse you and speak with you, the words that will come, do not, do not be afraid. It is Papa, our God, that is speaking. Meaning now you are have an advocate. You have a lawyer in you. So why should you worry? You can go and stand in the court of law. And you say I will represent myself. Because you trust yourself. Because you are righteous. Because you. You are the advocate. Because you has been chosen. Have been chosen. This is what it says. It's not me. It's Proverb 20, uh, 21. Proverb 10 verse 21. The lips of the righteous nourish many. You speak with power. You don't speak a nonsense. You are not a child of Satan. Children and agent of Satan speak nonsense. They cough up nonsense. Their lips are rot. They're like their father. They fall worms in the spirits. When they open mouth, worms and, and all insects of Beelzebub come out from their mouth. When you speak, Holy Spirit and the light, it gives life. It speaks good things. But the fools died because of lack of sense. Because when you try to guide and guide a fool, a fool, because it's lack of sense, he perish because your mouth doesn't speak nonsense. It speaks of the word of your father. So you are blessed. We are continuing to prove text. Verse 22. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth, wealth without painful toil for it. Because when you are blessed, everything follow. Wealth will come. Prosperity. Destiny. So me and you, we are so blessed, child of God. Don't undermine yourself. Speak with your father like your friend. Do not let a day pass without talking to him. Lie down. When you are not waking in your bed or in your room. 
and you close your eyes and you call him, summon him. Let it be a daily routine so that he can answer very loudly in your, in your heart. Father want to be activated like a fire so that the fire must burn. Be blessed. Then we're going to verse 23. A fool find pleasure in the wicked schemes. But a person understanding delights, the person understanding, the person of understanding delights in wisdom. What you see, a fool, a fool will always be a fool. A fool find pleasure in the wicked scheme. What are those wicked schemes? That is Proverbs. Remember our proof text, we have read from that, that uh, Proverb 10, we read verse 3, we read 21. 22. We are reading 23 before we finish on 32. The fool find pleasure in wicked skin. When they press you, when that fool is looking at you, using juju smoothies, going to Sangomas to pull you down, to destroy your marriage, she start to laugh high as if it's your friend. And then ask you, how is life? Why do you complain? Oh, my husband changed. He clap the hands and celebrate. Child of God, listen to me then. You will never leave your partners and your marriages and your fiancés because of a fool. Pray and curse it back where it come from. Send it back where it come from. I just learned this not long. I was using it, people of grace. I just use it not long, not long. I used to use it long time ago when I pray. But you won't believe what I found out. After using to curse it back where it come from and quoting the book of Psalm 35, Someone came to the vision and told my father that we must stop doing that because we are killing them. It worked. There's nothing written in this book of love, my father, that is not working. It worked. Meaning when I say, Father, I send everything that it's how I pray, even yesterday, people of God, at night. Father, I'm sending back every arrow that is tormenting your body, your body of Christ, their churches, the Christian there, my people, the sheep that you give it to me and my family. Every arrow and the sword, I send it back to destroy them. That's how I pray it. And I don't know. It's God who speaks. It just came to my lips. Until someone complained. We must speak with power and faith and send it where it comes from. Because they're busy. A wicked a fool is enjoying dancing. <laughs> yeah, it means now I'm doing it. And then after she asks you, she rushed to her house in her altar where she put all her black candles and nonsense and silver bowls and start to call your name and kiss you more. And your marriages and your children. Sending her wicked children to go to school and steal. A wicked person with wicked skin doesn't mind to remove her children where they are attending school and go and put their children to uh, where your children are attending school, people of grace, so that they can send a child to go and steal whatever to your child in order to connect and destroy the whole family. Immediately you saw your child is smoking. You curse the child. No, stop it. Do not give Satan a weapon. Pray. Pray. God is with you. Now we are reading the last proof text. Remember it's in that uh, proverb, verse 10, is verse 3, when who proof text, verse 21, 22, and 23. And then we're going to verse 32, the last verse. Same proverb 10. The lips of the righteous knows what finds favor. But the mouth of the wicked, only what is uh, perver sorry, perverse meaning directed away from what is right, what is good. The lips of the righteous knows what to find favor. They know. When they need favor, they cry. They go in their secret rooms and call the Father. Father will release favor. They know. If they don't want it, they fast, like today, and cry. God will release favor. Whereas the, the, the mouth of the wicked, <laughs> they know. What is, in fact, it's rot. They cough nonsense. 
But cheer up because you have chosen Father. You have chosen to carry the cross. May God bless you while you are reading. Without waste of time, it was fasting day. Let's pray. Do not forget. Proverb 10. You have to read it. Whether before you sleep, because already you have read the same one. If you want to repeat now, you'll repeat it. Verse 3. Proverb 10, 3. And then you prove text 21, 22, 23. You prove text. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. And you go to verse 32. It's all five verses. God bless you and protect you as you are reading. And God may give you favor. Now we are praying. Beloved people of grace, the people that my father has chosen, the people that my father has chosen to follow him. Let's pray and open our heart. You will start now by calling your father three times. You will put your hand right in your heart and say, Jesus Christ. You must not say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No. Open your heart. Jesus Christ. While your hand is in the heart. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You mean it in your heart. Call Jesus Christ. While you mean, mean it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's how I'm calling my father. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that is in that in the heart of a child of God, spirit of my father, move. That darkness, that link in the heart, that link of darkness, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get out. I link up the child of God's heart with Christ's heart. Any link of darkness operating and so strong hiding in the heart in order to monitor the child of God. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, I command you. Holy Ghost, break it and disconnect. Holy Ghost, uproot. We get evil spirit that enter in the heart to connect with the mind, to connect with the face, to connect with the eyes, the forehead, the forehead, to manipulate the eyes. The eyes start to be heavy. The eyes start to be itchy because it's a link of darkness. That link, you are called monitoring link. Be broken, release the child of God. Holy Ghost, fire, come out. Out in the eyes, the brain, the heart. Holy Ghost, fire in the forehead. I silence you by the power of the Ghost. Move. Get out, I pull you out by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cut you off. The finger of God there and the hand of God. The hand of God, the finger of God. Receive and feel the hand of God, child of God, while it break and uproot. While it disconnect the monitoring eye. Monitoring eye of darkness that is linked to your eyes. That is causing itchiness. Monitoring eye of an enemy. Of an enemy, you satanic enemy as an enemy or agent. Come out. Release the children of God. Holy Ghost, reign. Holy Ghost, move. Holy Ghost, purify and sanctify. Get out. You shall never monitor them. You are rejected by the power of the Ghost. Go back to the center. Go back where you're coming from. Come against you with the book of Psalm 35. Whatever you have planned to put down the child of God, to trap them. Holy Ghost, fire. Go back where you're coming from. Holy Ghost, move. Break and uproot that link. That link that the child of God has been linked by deposit of darkness. To connect with the eye. To watch where they walk. To watch what they, they, they are doing. And go and go and deliver to the kingdom of darkness. You spirits of monitoring. Become damp and damp. You shall never monitor this child of God now and forever. The hand of God is upon them. The finger of God with the thunder is upon them. It is perfecting. <clears throat> you have been conquered. We are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your link has been broken. God's finger has burned it with the thunder from heaven. 
You have been exposed. You are darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Ghost, move. Holy Ghost, move. Child of God, now you'll put your hand right in your stomach. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Ghost, my Jesus, my Lord, the one that died for us. This is your beloved children. These are your disciples. These are, are your disciples that you have chosen. My Father, my Lord, perfect them, Holy One. Perfect them, Holy One. Any deposit coming from strong men attached to them that they have deposited, they are evil, evil deposit. When they were young, my Father, my Lord, they strong men that has deposited all the link in order to torture them and their marriages, their families, their children. Your powers are strong men. Be broken, fall down, come out. Evil pollution, evil pollution moving inside because of the strong man, because of a demon. You are a demon. You are stinking. You are useless. Get out from that life of a child of God. Out from the future of a child of God. I paralyze your powers. I break all your powers. Strong me. I'm speaking with you. Come out from the life of a child of God. Out from their children, their families. Any way you connected. You are busy. You are creating more and more generational curses. You have opened an avenue. And call all. All your demons. All your bells above all your insects to come and torture the children of God. What are you doing in their lives? Strong men, we are speaking with you. Wherever you are hiding, wherever you are hiding, wherever you are manipulating the children of God, there is that little thing. They will say that, yes, I'm fine, but there's something, my father, that I don't understand. You are hiding your strong men. With all your wicked plans to torture, you are hiding, saying, I will never release their goods, no matter when. It's a, day, it's a year of receiving goods. You are wasting time, strong man. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, thing of God, the hand of my Father, break and destroy connection of strong men operating in the life of a child of God, operating. In their children's life. My Jesus, you never fail us. You always come and father fight for us. You always come and rescue us. I can see you. Children of God, I see a strong man as a demon. And his demon is big like a bear. You know a black bear. You are coming out from the life of a child of God. Be roasted in your feathers. Go. You are a strong man. Release the children of God. Go. You are wicked. Strong man, you are a demon. Out of fire in your crown, your eyes. Fire wherever you are operating. You have a shape of darkness. You are a strong man. Now release the children of God. You are a demon. Whatever you stole him, wherever you kept it, release it. Holy Ghost, fire, roast it, go. Thunder, bolts of heaven, burning sulfur, and the call of fire, the hand of God. Search and destroy the strong man. The strong man has tortured the children of God's life and future and destiny. It has destroy the children of God's businesses, their finances. It has destroy all, all their families, their families' finances. Oh, Holy One, people of grace, when a strong man is there, it doesn't come as a single as a strong man. It will be as strong as... This thing I was shown when I was at synagogue, not long last year, when I was there at synagogue, praying, I was fighting a spirit that I don't know. The spirit followed me from the house at the gate in the street. In fact, in the street. When I go, when I go fly to the airport, it was still there. I could feel it while I'm meditating, praying. Until I reached synagogue. To come out, it took two days. And when I come out, Father, give me strength while I'm praying and meditating. What happened? Because when you are at the Nigeria, at the scorn, at synagogue, T.P. Joshua's church, I was in the dormitories. While I was at dormitory, I was having a terrible flu. Because when it entered, it left a severe flu. I was coughing, vomiting stuff. While I'm sleeping, I'm praying with my head up, down, closing the eyes because I couldn't move to the church to pray. And Father God, same night, he gave me strength to destroy it. When I disarm it, I have learned, people of grace, that the strong man is not just alone. When I cut off and pull all the meat, 
strong men came out and groaned and I cut every piece. Inside, another one protruded. And I keep on destroying and they said, this is a spiritual husband. When I pull it out, all the animals that emitted, like a demon, another demon, that I don't know. So inside every strong man, there's not one thing. That is why Father God chose the name. The name of strong man, it was given from the Bible. God chose it to say this is a strong man. How can a strong man, you know, when we fast last time, we, don't, we didn't yet just start to do a prayer. We have to fast three days in order to destroy it. Now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, continue to touch your stomach and have faith and open your heart. And say it now. You strong man. Say it open your heart. You strong man. You strong man. You are a demon. Come out in my life. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out in my life. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Get out from my life. Say it child of God. And say it loudly. When you are alone and you are free. Call it loudly. Get it. You strong man. Go. And for the Lord, as they call the strong men to get out, I break the link. I use your power that you bestowed me. You are using me as your vessel, holy one. What goes? I break the powers of strong men. Your strong men carry all your demons inside of you. It might be a strong spiritual husband, spiritual wife. It might be the bells of our spirit. It might be witches and wizards. Get out, holy ghost. Fire. Carry all your animals. All your animals. Go. You strong man, by the power of the Holy Ghost, out in Jesus' mighty name. Get all your wicked elephants, your wicked evil bears, evil wicked bears that live in the evil in the forest there, eh? with the wicked evil. Get all even our baboons, your monkeys. Holy Ghost, fire! I break your disconnect. Go out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go. You are dark. And you shall release today whatever you have blocked in their lives. Power of the Ghost, move. My Father, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Children of God, do you know how we pray when we fast? While I'm praying, you call the fire, you call the sword, you call whatever you think it will help you to throw it back to the center. Today, when I'm busy praying, say, I throw everything back to the center. I throw all the torments, I throw challenges. I throw blockages. Throw it back where it comes from. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Throw it back to the person who torture you. Power of the Holy Ghost. My Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You strong me. Whatever you have opened that way, that avenue in the body. You have opened a way in order to use it. Be closed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be closed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Strong men, I command you now, wherever you have hidden, every breakthrough, breakthrough of these children of God, wherever you have hidden all their goods, there are finances where you have blocked the banks to approve loans, you block the banks to get from getting assistance of finance, any financial assistance. You block even destiny helpers to give them finances to take care of them. You block increment, increment at work. You are wicked. You even block all their CVs that they mustn't get job and promotion. You are a strong man. You steal. And you are wicked. From there, you, you claim that they belong to you. Hand of God. The hand that bears the mark and the finger that release the thunder. Thunder, my father. Let it thunder, thunder, my father. Let it thunder, destroy. And burn strong men. Whatever I did, why it tortured, why it destroyed these families. These are your families of your children, holy one. Perfect it and destroy the powers of the strong men. Oh, father, destroy everything that the strong man has damaged in their lives. Holy one, arise. Break and retrieve all whatever the strong man has taken. Be broken, thunderbolts of heaven. Rain all those fall upon your children. Thunder of heaven, destroy, retrieve whatever they stole from your children. Let them possess it. They will never miss heaven. Father perfected them. They will take whatever you have given. All the gifts of heaven. They reward from heaven. Let them receive it. Let them receive. Let them possess it. Let them receive. And the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. You strong man. 
Every wicked pollution that cause sickness and disease, sickness and disease in the life that children, strong men now we have put to shame. Dry up and with, dry up and with your sickness and disease. Be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be silenced in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. We believe in God, our Jesus, Holy Spirit. They are not humans. They shall never lie. Holy Spirit arise, perfect in the life. Holy Spirit arise, perfect in the life. Break the powers of strong men. Destroy and disarm him. He has to release whatever is stolen from them. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move, Holy Ghost. Move and search and destroy and burn. Search and burn up root. Break the powers of strong men. He has to give away. Give away. Give away. Give away. Release freedom. Give everything to them. Give back the stuff. You are nonsense. You are evil. You are wicked. You are paralyzed. We want to see you until you are small. I'm not leaving you, children of God. I'm not closing the prayer until I can see in the realm that the strong man has now become so small because we are, it means we have this army. Strong man, whatever you planted in the brain, in the body flow system, whatever you planted, I dry up and wither. I break your roots. I pour the burning sulfur where the roots is inside the body of a child of God. Whenever you do your wicked evil stuff, you water the roots so that they may die with all incurable diseases, with all afflictions and infirmities. Infirmities, children of God, are suffering. Infirmities are disease and sickness, infirmities and everything is about the torture coming from this strong man as a demon and Satan. Your strong man and all your familiar spirits, you are wicked. Break and burn and die. Carry all your familiar spirits. Carry all your wicked, stinking demons. Get out from the body of a child of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The name is that is above every name. I break your roots. I uproot all your channels. All your linkage, your remote controls. I damage it. Release the children of God. Go back where you're coming from. Thunderbolt, hailstone. Thunderbolt, hailstone. Missile of heaven. Destroy and break the chains. Abroad and let it fall down. Strong men will fall down. Resurrection power. Pull it and all his demon, his nonsense that he carried, that he planted in the life of the children of God. They must receive breakthrough. It shall never say I own them. I break and cast and cast back that mouth, cursing and saying, I own them. They belong to me. Strong man, listen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are not owning them. Power of the Holy Ghost, destroy. Power of the Holy Ghost, silence, strong man. You are not owning this one. This one bear the marks of their father. Their father is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Their father is God. Their helper is the advocate, Holy Spirit. Therefore, carry your wicked Lord, strong men go. You are dark. You are wicked. Strong men, release the children of God. All of us move. Burn it, Lord, and destroy the familiar spirits that are going with strong men. Destroy other spiritual husband and wife and break the link from Marine. Disconnect it. No power, no power of your strong men shall pull any child of God. You will never pull our families. You will never pull our children. Enough is enough. Release whatever you have stolen. They must possess their breakthroughs. This is the year they will never miss. They have to possess their breakthrough. Get out and release them. Holy Ghost, a fire, thunderbolt of heaven, search and burn, thunder, thunder, thunder and retreat, thunder and roar, strong men, roast every demon that the strong man is carrying, that the strong man is using. Let your children possess, Father. Let your children possess whatever is to be stolen from them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy to be praised. You will come to fight for them. You are God. You will never lie. You are God. You are the first and the last. Holy Ghost, continue to move. Holy Ghost, continue to move. Now, child of God, he said it. You are the of a strong man. You are the of strong man and all this evil spirit. Say it after me. Open your heart. You are the of a strong man. You are thou the strong man and other spirits. Hear the word of the Lord. I break all your altars. 
I break it on your altars. I'm using the sword of the spirit. I break all your altars. I repeat again. Your strong men and other demons, all other evil spirits, I call you by your names. Listen to the voice of the Lord. By the powder goes, I break all your altars. I disconnect what you have hidden in the altars. I disconnect all your link. I break your link. Break it. Go on. Break the link. Said I break your link. You wicked evil. Evil strong men and all the evil demons. I break the link. I use the sword of the spirit. I use the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire to every altar of a strong man. Every altar of all spirits of darkness connected to the children of God. Be roasted. Holy Ghost fire connected to our families, our children. Be roasted. Connected to the children of God, our families. Be roasted. Become ashes. Become irreparable. I render your powerless. Release the children of God. Release them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release them. Break all your linkage. Release them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out from their lives. Release them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Now say the child of God. By the power in the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power, say it loud in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I possess my goods that strong men and other spirits have stolen. And all the enemy, whatever is still from me and my life, I possess it. My life and my family, I possess it. Start now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I possess everything that is strong men and all the evil spirits and all that every. Every spirit of darkness, whatever they stole from me and my family, I possess it. I take whatever you have stolen from me and my family. Possess it, child of God. Take it. Say that I take it. My hands are connected with the fire of the ghost. I release hands. Fire in your hands. Take it. Possess the hands. Your hands, let it be filled with the fire of the ghost. Your hands, let it be taught. Now start to carry and possess whatever the enemy has stolen. Take it, says the enemy. I take it. I take it. Like whatever you, you have stolen. Let your hand become too hot. I release the fire of the ghost in your hands to possess whatever the enemy, strong man and the enemy has stolen from you. Take it. Possess it. We possess it, Lord. They possess. Their hands are too hot because of the fire. The fire is in their hands. Feel the fire of the ghost in your hands while you are possessing authority in your mouth. Possess it. Take it. All your goods, your family goods, whatever it was stolen long time ago and now. Every item. Take it. Say it to your spirit of stealing. I'm taking whatever is stolen from me. I'm retrieving my breakthrough. Minute, say it. I take my breakthrough. I take my, my future. I take my destiny. I take my finances. I take my jobs. I take my marriage. Possess it. Take it. I take my breakthrough. I take my life. I take my health. I take my destiny. I take the power of God that God has stolen you that you have blocked. I possess it back. I possess my authority. I take my wisdom. Yes, the wisdom that my father gave me. Possess it. Take everything. Take your marriages. Take your wedding. Take your top jobs. Take your certificates. Possess it. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. Power belongs to God. God is God Almighty. He never sleep nor slumber. God is God. Take your power to overcome darkness. To overcome those spirits that has been put in you. Take it, Jesus Christ, never sleep nor slumber. Open your eyes and tell your father, I'm possessing father. Authorities in your hands, power authorities in your mouth, uh, your hands as up. Let your hands become battle acts of fire. Cut those doors, open it, and send doors, break it. Take your possession, take it, retrieve. Father, let them retrieve whatever the enemy has stolen. Father, perfect it. Everything that was stolen from them, our lives, our children, we retrieve the finances that demon has stolen from our lives, our children. We possess it. No darkness shall steal it. We say no to stealing, killing, and destruction. Let them possess. Let them continue to possess and retrieve even from their children. Let them possess from their siblings. They possess who are possessing. We are taking it back that belongs 
come to us from long time ago. Now we are taking it back by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the resurrection, by the power that opened the tomb, the power that parted the sea. Yes, we use the staff of Moses. We cut and destroy all the demons. We possess uh, whatever belongs to us. Satan and his agent has stolen. And now this agent has demons that are stealing from the children of God. No, enough is enough. It's a year of possession. It's a year of taking what belongs to us. We take it, we possess in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. Now, child of God, start to thank the mighty Lord. Thank him. Thank you, Papa. Thank him for the answered prayers. Thank him and say thank you because I possess what belongs to me. Thank you, Oluwa, because I've located it and I possess it. I believe and I know that it shall come back to me. Say it. Say it. Open your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, say it. Thank you, Father. You have helped me to possess everything. Everything that I've said it, I know that I got it. Thank you, Holy Father. And Father, because you have helped me to locate it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I trust in you. And I know it's done in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Thank you. Now start, child of God. Soak your prayer with the blood and yourself. Cover you and your family and your body, your children. Cover their school book. Cover and cover the desk where they are sitting, their brain, their wisdom. Cover everything that pertains. Cover and soak your child and your body with the blood where they are walking, where they are sitting. Cover the family with the blood, the blood of Jesus, and destroy the spirit of fear at school. Said you fear, get out from my children. How do you fear? The child will be fearing to ask the man, the teacher, the questions. The child will be fearing. The child will never speak, always having the fear and the doubt. Send the fire and the blood to perfect your children. We soak them, soak them. As I soak my family, my children, I soak my grandchildren, I soak whoever, eh, all of them, my children's children, my nephews and nieces, with the blood, we soak them. We soak them with the blood. We said no to the whole spirit of monitoring to them. We break that link of monitoring demons and the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the prayer. We soak this prayer with the blood. We thank you for the answered prayers. We thank you for perfecting our bodies. We thank you for destroying the enemy. We thank you for breaking the chain of darkness that is connected to our body, our children. We love you, Holy Spirit. I, Father, I barricade all your children with a pillar of fire. Pillar of fire. When is during the day like today? Peel of the cloud. Peel of the cloud like the Israelites. Father, in that wilderness, you protected them like that. A pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. Because it's during the day. Peel of fire during the morning until night. At night, peel of fire. During the day, peel of the cloud. Peel of the cloud. Father, let your glory according to the book. In that book of Isaiah. Isaiah 4 verse 5. Yes. Let your glory be the canopy upon them. Your glory be the canopy upon them. Your glory be a canopy upon them, Holy One. Father, fill us. Fill us. Your finger, your hand, and hide them under the shadows of your wings. No enemy shall locate them. No enemy shall harm them henceforth. In Jesus' mighty name. Thy earth has been resurrected. Uh, uh, he, uh, thy earth has been restored. Thy have been resurrected from those pains. Fill them up. The blood, the blood flow. Veins at rest. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. You are welcome and you are free. Shalom. May God bless you for honoring him to fast and follow his instruction. You are a child of God. Do not ever, ever doubt that. God bless you. God bless you. Amen and amen. Emmanuel.